Alright guys, so today we're going to look at how to make ribs. Uh, I made one video in the past you can check out, but this time we're going to do real kind of barbecue and finish them on the grill. But we're going to start them inside, it's real easy to get them cooked up and tender by using the oven to begin with. So uh, you can use all different types of spices and stuff, everyone's going to have their own recipe. So I'm going to be doing something pretty simple, but you can change it, you know, everyone's going to tell you you can add different things. So we're going to start with rubbing our meat, and actually I've already gone ahead and cut it, cut it up. Uh, you can leave it as a full slab or cut it up. I find it's easier to grill later when it's in smaller pieces. There's a skin on the bottom of the ribs, which I've already taken off. And if you get a full slab, you're going to have to peel that skin off. You don't want, want to leave that on there when you're cooking it. So I've already taken that off. So to start here, I'm just going to unscrew all my uh, seasonings. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is start with our seasonings. And uh, I'm going to just put on a little bit of smoky mesquite for myself, along with some black pepper, some... Uh, seasoned meat tenderizer and some uh, salt. So I'll go ahead and on one side I'm just going to do them one at a time and put all of them on a little bit. You don't have to worry about exactly how you do this, but just go ahead and put a little bit of each one on. And a little pepper at the end. And then you're just going to pretty much want to rub it into the meat. So you can just be quick about this, you don't have to do anything special, you're just trying to get it rubbed into the meat. That's why they call it a rub. And then we'll go and just do the exact same thing to the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this quick here. And again, we'll just rub it into the meat. And then uh, the barbecue sauce, I'm actually going to add a little bit later. So for now, we're just going to put our meat. You can leave it that way, but I'm just going to flip it back over. And now add about half a cup to a cup of water to the pan. This will help it stay moist while it's cooking. And then, one second, wait right there. And then we're going to cover the pan just with tin foil to lock in the moisture. And then from here, you should have already done this, which I didn't say, preheat your oven before you start making it to uh, 300 degrees. And now we're just going to go from here and throw this in the oven at 300 degrees for uh, two hours. And then we'll show you guys the next step in a minute. Alright guys, so we just took these out of the oven after two hours. I wanted to mention one thing I didn't mention earlier, is brown sugar is very often used in the rubs for all types of ribs. So definitely check out adding some brown sugar if you're making some ribs. Uh, from here, if you made ribs before, you might think they look a little funny. That's because these are uh, beef back ribs. They're not uh, your standard pork ribs. So that's why they look a little different, but the cooking is going to be the same. So from here, after they've been in the oven for two hours, now we're just going to take our barbecue sauce, whichever you choose, and I'm just going to put it all over, because after this we're going to go to the grill. So right now, I'm just pretty much going to cover each one of these in barbecue sauce on either side. And then we'll take this outside to the grill. We'll add some extra barbecue sauce on, on the grill, because the bottom side of this is pretty liquidy, so the barbecue sauce isn't going to stick to the bottom that good. So I got the top pretty good. Now we'll go out to the grill, put them on there to get the outside all caramelized and nice tasting, and to finish up the cooking a little. And then we'll see how it looks when we're done. All right, guys, so now we brought these outside on the grill. I preheated my grill on about medium to medium high heat. And now we're just going to throw them on the grill. And I'm going to place them actually barbecue side down, each one of them here. So I'm going to go ahead and get them all on. barbecue to the other side. Now let these just cook in here for 
only about 30 seconds per side. Close the lid just a little bit to help them cook through. But I'm only going to leave this closed for about 30 seconds here, and then we're going to open it up and flip them over. Okay, so now after 30 to 45 seconds, we're just trying to cook on the uh, barbecue sauce here. Now we'll flip it over. We didn't cook the uh, first side, or the second side here yet. So as you can see, it's just not burning, but getting a little bit of charred barbecue flavor on it. Same thing, close the lid for about 30 to 45 seconds and then we're going to be done. Alright, so now we've cooked both sides and put the barbecue sauce on both sides. Now we're pretty much done. We're going to take these off the grill and bring them inside. So now we brought them inside and put them on a plate. You can see they look really good right now, nice and golden brown. And uh, one of these is already falling off the bone, so as you say, fall off the bone ribs. It's about as good as you can get there. They're really just flaky and kind of pull apart. Pretty good ribs. Let me go ahead and just take a little piece from them. Tastes pretty darn good too. Just falling right off into pieces. It's like pulled pork almost. So great ribs, very easy to make, only took me about two and a half hours. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, and uh, enjoy your cooking. We'll see you guys later.